as a wildlife biologist, I've been asked a whole lot of questions with regards to how COVID-19 coronavirus relates to wildlife. And hopefully at the end of this, we'll all have a better understanding of how coronavirus uh, has come from animals and the problems that it's causing. Simply put, zoonotic diseases originate in wildlife and jump to humans through the consumption or handling of an intermediate animal host. COVID-19 is a zoonotic disease. Well, COVID-19 was first identified in December 2019 in Wuhan, China, in a seafood market. While genetic analysis indicated that the virus originated in bats, there were no bats sold at the market. This means that there is some sort of intermediate host that was at the market. This animal was either touched or consumed by a person at the market. This patient zero then transmitted the disease to other humans. Because some people will carry the disease without showing symptoms, it spreads quickly. By March 19th, there were over 245,000 confirmed cases of the disease in more than 150 countries worldwide. This is a big problem. SARS-CoV-2 is the virus that causes COVID-19. It belongs to the same family of viruses as SARS-CoV and MERS-CoV, which is found in bats. However, very little is actually known about the intermittent host for COVID-19, because the Wuhan market where the virus likely came from was cleaned out before samples could be taken. Since the market features a live animal market, any number of animals, both farmed and wild caught, could have had the virus transmitted to them from close contact with the original host. Live animal markets, such as the one in Wuhan, are a major source of new viruses. These markets are also a major threat to biodiversity as they encourage poaching and capturing of wild animals. A lot of people have been blaming the adorable pangolin. While the pangolin is the most trafficked animal in the world, it's not definitive that the pangolin has been linked to COVID-19 outbreak. Some researchers are leaning towards the likelihood that was from a turtle. We won't know for sure until a lot more research is done. Like SARS, Ebola, and bird flu, COVID-19 is linked to wildlife trafficking. Wildlife trafficking and poaching refers to the practice of destroying habitats, hunting animals, and selling those animals in markets for traditional medicines, foods, pets, and other uses. When humans partake in these activities, these pathogens are able to jump species and affect humans. Ending the illegal trade and consumption of wildlife will greatly reduce the spread of disease, as well as help to end the extinction of threatened wildlife across the globe. The CDC says, at this time, there is no evidence that companion animals, including pets, can spread COVID-19, or that they might be a source of the infection in the United States. However, the virus could be on a pet. You should refrain from touching unfamiliar animals, as with all things at this time, and be sure to wash your hands before and after touching anything foreign at all. Now more than ever, in order to save animals and people alike, we need to band together and fight to stop illegal wildlife trafficking once and for all. Thank you everybody for tuning in. I hope this gave you a little bit more information on what's going on with COVID-19. If you have more questions, feel free to send them my way and I'll do my best to answer them. But I think this paints a pretty good little picture overall of what's been going on um, with COVID-19 as it relates to wildlife in the world. So uh, stay safe, stay isolated, and we will beat this thing. Bye everyone.